So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I did with my extremely limited handyman skills, uh, how I made my Nanoleaf Aurora portable. I encountered this lack of portability problem with the Nanoleaf Aurora during my Aurora versus Philips Hue comparison. I needed to move it to different rooms and I really didn't want to you know, physically stick it to a wall. Now, when I first got the Aurora, I thought to myself, this is pretty cool. Then I thought, where am I gonna put it? And the third thought, thought was, how am I supposed to move it? Now, right off the bat, I tried to use 3N command strips instead of the included mounting stickers because I knew I had to move it. But after uh, moving it from my office, I realized it was gonna be a pain in the butt to move it between the four different rooms I had planned to set it up for the review. So here's what my current portable Nanoleaf Aurora setup looks like. I basically hung the Aurora using 3M strips on a two by four foot white MDF uh, vinyl board. It's a very simple solution. It doesn't look half bad since your eye isn't drawn to the crappy piece of MDF uh, because, well, the Nanoleaf Aurora is on it. Again. I will say that I am not handy whatsoever. Uh, so I know there is a better way of doing whatever I'm gonna show you next, but this is what I've done based on my limited abilities. So I thought I would just share it with you because I'm sure some of you guys may have encountered this problem as well. So to build this, you're gonna need a quarter inch thick two by four foot, or if you can uh, find it, a four, foot, four by four foot white vinyl handy board, a cedar nailing strip, a picture hanging kit, wood glue staples or uh, three quarter inch screws and a package of 3M command strips. The most expensive thing in this setup are gonna be the 3M command strips. Now the first thing I did was glue the cedar nailing strip to the back of the MDF board. I glued it from a third from the top, but if I was to do it again, I'd probably do it in the middle, and I'll elaborate why in a minute. It doesn't have to be a cedar nailing strip, basically any thin piece of wood's going to do. I let the glue dry before drilling the screws into the cedar nailing strip from the front. I wasn't sure if the glue was going to hold up the entire uh, setup, so I just aired on the side of safety uh, with these screws. I bought a 30 pound hanging kick to be safe, even though the entire setup only weighs about 15 pounds. While the glue was drying, I applied the 3N command strips to the back of the Aurora panels. I was able to take each command strip and cut it into thirds for each panel. I managed to skimp out and do two one third strips, but it's kind of hard to remount the panel since you have to know exactly where you put it up the first time. Some panels have three, other panels have two. You know, if you look at this picture of my wall, it's, you kind of have to, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, trying to figure out where the uh, Aurora panels are supposed to fit. After the hanging kit was installed, I mounted the Aurora panels. Now, I only had a two by four foot, so I was limited to the size of panels that I could mount. As you can see, it would be hard to mount 12 panels in this setup. There's only space for maybe 10. Now, once everything dried and the command strips adhered to the board, I was able to move the Aurora from room to room without having to worry about and it's sticking anything permanent, semi-permanently to my walls. I'm generally pretty pleased with my handiwork and as of this video, um, the Aurora has been hanging off 3N command strips for about five weeks now, so I'm pretty sure they'll hold up, we'll say indefinitely. I also added a couple of felt pads on the corners of the uh, MDF board as well as felt pads covering up the hanging kit because I didn't want my walls being scratched. Now at the beginning I said I would have put the uh, nailing strip about closer to the middle of the MDF board. Why? Because it was tough to pull the hanging kit tight enough to hide the hangers above the mount. Now it's high up that I'm not gonna really notice it, um, but it's still something I noticed that could be improved if I was to ever do this again. But if you're doing it for the first time, put it closer to the middle of the uh, MDF board. So that's all I have for making the Nanoleaf Aurora portable. If it was, if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe because Monty and I are doing a ton of smart home gadget reviews on this channel. Like I'm talking tons, thousands of dollars spent on Things like this, an Eve room sensor. <laughs> well, this isn't a thousand dollars, this is a hundred, but I've bought lots of these, different brands. Thanks for watching.